Hey guys, what's up? So this is my social experiment, okay? <laughs> so um, I just, you know, wanted to know, okay? Because I honestly was watching a video of this couple and they were doing um, like throwback photos of themselves. So um, this was Glam Zante and uh, Courtney Williams when they were together. So basically, Glam Zante, she was like the ratchet one. She was like, you know, coming up ratchet. And she's still ratchet, but she glowed up and she's like gorgeous. She was always pretty, but she basically is gorgeous and more refined and polished. But back in the day, she was like, you know, just a little ratchet. -y. Courtney, when she was growing up, she was like the wifey girl next door so like you'll see Courtney in bundles and cardigans and jeans and boots like she will be covered up and Tay will be ratchet as hell you know basically in club outfit and club gear just you know ghetto g-h-e-t-t-o okay so that made me think to myself and Courtney made a comment Courtney was like they were they were clowning on each other. They, were, you know, um, Courtney was like, "You look like a hood bumpkin," and <laughs> Glamazante was like, "You the girl that I would beat up because you think you better." And um, Courtney was like, "You look like I look like a wife, and you look like the girl that my nigga go out and cheat on me with." <laughs> and I was crying. I was like, "Oh my god!" So basically, it was like ratchet versus good girl. So then I got the thought in my head. I was like, "Okay, which coochie is better, good girl coochie or ratchet girl coochie?" I really want to know from the people because, baby, I'm speaking for the good girls, and I was like. Good girl coochie, of course. So now a person that I really look up to and I'm so inspired by is um, Tamara Mori. Um, Tia and Tamara, of course, we all know they're like a legend. Sister, sister, you know what I'm saying? Like black history, legendary. You know, we all watched that show when we were kids. So they're very classy girls. Tia is a little bit more spicy then Tamara, Tamara is way more reserved. I'm Tamara. Like, I'm really Tamara. Like, I'm a very reserved girl. Like, I like my dresses below my knees. I like my skirts below my knees. I'm not like a girl that you'll see dressed any kind of way going out. Like, my pictures, you know, like, you'll see, like, I'm giving very much Romans chapter 12, verse 1. Like, that's what I look like. You know, a little classy, little biblical girl, right? <laughs> but I do have a little ratchet side as well. But, you know, the real me, like, you know, the dominant me is good. And I just twerk, you know, on the side. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like my day job five days a week is like being, you know, um, a Bible study conductor. And then like on the weekends i'm like low-key a stripper or a bottle girl you feel me but i'm a good girl and so i just wanted to know like what y'all think about you know who got the better coochie is it good girl coochie or ratchet coochie because courtney and Tate they were going at it because basically courtney was the good girl she was looking like wifey and courtney was like i'm wifey and you the girl that you the side piece you the girl that the dude go out and cheat on me with so Tamara, you know, here she has this really beautiful outfit on. This is something I would definitely wear. This is how I dress on a day-to-day. -day. Like, I don't, you know, this is my style. I love, you know, classy outfits, classy fits. You know, I love to be covered up. I feel like I don't like my breasts to just be like, I know y'all be seeing me like naked. Y'all don't see me naked, but I just be in my bed naked. Because I be in a crib, we in a pandemic. What am I supposed to do? Whatever. So, you know. And sometimes I'll show like a little skin here and there or whatever if I feel like it. But really, I love, love, love this type of outfit, these type of outfits, like sundresses, really classy dresses that make a woman look like a woman. A woman is supposed to be a lady. A woman is supposed to look like somebody wife. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I dress like somebody wife on a day-to-day -day basis. Like, that's my style. So what Tamara has on on the left is definitely my style. And I would wear what Tia has on too on the right. So this is good girl coochie, okay? And here they are again, very classy. You see their dresses are long. They got their beautiful, cute heels on. You know what I'm saying? Just looking like wives. Like they're giving you very much like 
Revelations chapter three, verse one, like they giving you very much wifey walking down the aisle. You know, these are the girls that dudes marry. You feel me? Y'all ratchet hoes, dudes just like, you know, they like to play and have fun with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Flip y'all one time. But these are the girls. We're the girls that the dudes marry. The good girl is the girl that the dudes put the ring on. Like we, we get married, not because we get pregnant, but because we really, really are like good girls and good women and godly women and they want to wife up you know a, a good woman who can be a great mother to their children you know what i'm saying very much wifey very much you know apostle disciple ish like you know what i'm saying sitting around the table with jesus just having a conversation like that's the type of girls that dudes like you feel me so then there's another type of girl okay now this is my weekend side saturday and sunday like monday through friday i'm this Saturday and Sunday, I'm this, okay? So, ratchet coochie, okay? Now, guys like this because ratchet girls, like, you know, they pretty much do a lot, the most, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, I'm gonna do a little comparison. I'm gonna give y'all reasons why good girl coochie to me is better, okay? In a sexual manner, you know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the topic because I was really inspired. I wanted to know. Um, So, the, you got the city girls, very beautiful girls but they hood and you know ratchet and there's nothing wrong with that because i'm that saturday and sunday only half day on sunday because service starts from 12 15 to 2 so i can't be acting like that at 2 30 i could transform you feel me so ratchet coochie is like jt carisha you know what i'm saying like they in the club like yeah you know what i'm saying it's putty talk english spanish and French, euros, dollars, and yens, private to islands, the M's, Birkin, Gucci, Chanel, Louis, Pucci, YSL, period, you know? And here they are again. Here they look real like bouge, bougetto. Like, you know, it's like you see, you know, the meal, the, be the breakfast. You see the dirty cabinet with the dust on it, but you see the breakfast on top, bougetto, like real ghetto. But, you know, you see their outfits. It's real like, you know, very much I'm in the trap house. I'm in like, you know, the projects, but I'm dressing like, you know, a housewife, low key. You know what I'm saying? With my robe on, you know, my two piece fit on. So I'm giving you very much like bougetto. You know, with the fire hydrant in case of an emergency, like a, the fire extinguisher is right above JT, like in case of an emergency. Yeah, that's what they're giving. So, all right, let's compare. Okay. Good girls. Number one. Good girls. Okay. First of all, good girls, coochie. It gives you very much strawberry. You feel me? Like you get a good smell. Like you know they ain't been because they ain't been nowhere. They 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 don't have a body count. Like a good girl, her body count is very minimal. If she's ever had sex at all, her body count you can count it on one hand, and you can't even use all your fingers for that one hand if it's a good girl. Like she'll be she'll be like, oh, you know, two, you know, or one. I only have one. Or sometimes it's none at all. You feel me? Like some people just haven't had sex at all or it'll be like one or two or whatever the case may be so coochie giving very much strawberries pomegranate you know what i'm saying similar like daffodils or whatever ratchet pussy gives you bv very much bacterial vaginosis very much seven days worth of you know antibiotics and this is not towards the city girls like this is not saying that oh ratchet pussy like you know the city girls the type of girls they are they get bv no that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying is the hood girls like you know the bitches that beat the block like you know they be bow legs think walking like across like the street chewing on bubble gum that you know the flavor already went done went out but they still chewing on it and you know they at the corner store buying hot cheetos i eat hot cheetos but don't judge me and you know like they be fighting for no reason just to fight because it's a Tuesday. Yeah, like you run the risk of BV. You feel me? Like very much fish, very much sequarium, very much, you know, like, yeah, like that. The good girl, her coochie is tight, you know, because she, like I said, ain't been around. Ratchet pussy, okay, it's a dry alley. 
it's like you could walk right through that bitch real open and wide you feel me been had you know she she done been some places you know what i'm saying and it's dry at that you feel me so a dry alley you feel me because it's like a good girl this is the tea her vagina it gets wetter because it's like she's never been touched really like all that much so as soon as you like blow your breath on her she like splash splash squish squash macaroni and cheese you feel me but because you know girls that's been around a block you know they basically they don't have like a lot it's nothing new it's like it takes a lot more to get them turned on like it takes a lot more to get them to you know give you you know very much tlc waterfalls like you know what i'm saying like it takes a lot because they already done had whatever so it's like okay what's next this is not turning me on but a good girl it's easy because it's like she hasn't been she's sensitive and she hasn't been touched like that so you know pretty much she's like chasing waterfalls when, when you're dealing with her the good girl you chasing waterfalls and when you dealing with like ratchet pussy it could be like a desert for like 30 minutes to an hour and then finally you get like a sprinkle you get like a little drizzle you know what i'm saying like when god first made it rain yeah like that so what else um so we talked about how <laughs> and like i said these are just examples i'm pulling up girls based on how they look and you know what they what they are about and the difference and it's like y'all basically will comment down below and tell me what y'all think <laughs> so um and all these girls are beautiful but it's you know the, it's just two different styles two different lifestyles you know what i'm saying or whatever good girl coochie so i said what i said it smelled like it smelled good and it's tight and it's moist and the only and you know Courtney was like yeah like you know people or people in general may be like well why they cheat with the with the with the ratchet girl why they cheat well maybe she could backflip farther to the wall like maybe I can't stretch as much as her I don't know but it's like at the end of the day you got to ask yourself why do they wife these girls and cheat with these girls you got to ask yourself that because of what I said before, it's like, okay, the ratchet girl, she might, you know, be able to do things or she's explored and experimented a lot. And so she does things that may be the good girl, you know, I honestly feel like good girl coochie is better, period. Like, even if, you know, you've been around and you know how to do certain things because you've done it more or you're more experienced, like, it, it, it don't matter, like she can do less tricks than you or she can do you know she can be less flexible and still be better than you in bed like that's my opinion because at the end of the day like i said like she's giving macaroni and cheese and you're giving desert so it don't matter what tricks you do because at the end of the day you're gonna give him like a, a scratch you know with that dry ass vagina that you keep you know gyrating on him with like you know you 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 really really fun to like cause friction you know like it's gonna be like not it's not the same you feel me and then the good girl like she's like squish squash so he's happy you know so she may not be twirling and back flipping and doing all of this extra stuff and good girls can do that too you know what i'm saying they say lady in the streets freak in the bed that's how good girls operate so it's like really they really be hoes in the bed, but in the streets, they be ladies or whatever the case may be. And sometimes maybe they don't know how to do as much as the ratchets, like, you know, the tricks or whatever, whatever pornography, you know, they are, they're able to do, but at, the dude still loves and marries the good girl because at the end of the day, she's the best. Like, you know, it, it feel different. It's different. It's like, it's just, you know, a different sensation and he knows oh she ain't been around that's mine but with ratchet pussy when you cheat on her with ratchet pussy it's just like a moment you know like oh okay okay i'm just cheating with a bitch that probably 
is like more than a Rubik's cube. But my wife, you know what I'm saying? Like nothing beats her. Like she's definitely like the mother of my child. You know, she she like take care of me. You know, she's a good woman. She don't embarrass me. She know how to dress. She know how to keep herself up as a lady, you know, in bed. She's amazing. So it don't matter if you could split on a on the, you know, penis. I'm keeping it PG, you know, the dudes think like my wife, you know, she may not know how to do a split, but I make love to her. Like it is amazing, but I'm just effing you. You feel me? What's a split? You know what I'm saying? That don't matter if I don't love you. You feel me? And it's not the same. You know what I'm saying? You don't get as wet as her. None of that. Like, like I said, like you just, you just know how to do more because, you know, You've been around, but I really wanted to know what y'all think. Like, this is a very interesting topic to me. Like, you know, what, what do you, what do guys prefer? Like, do they prefer like a Tia and Tamara? And ladies, you can answer this too. Do guys prefer Tia and Tamara or do they prefer a JT and Carisha? Like, what do guys prefer? Um, for me personally, I know that guys prefer Tia and Tamara and if they don't have self-control or if they don't have like, if, you know, temptation gets the best of them, they go cheat with a JT and a Carisha. But at the end of the day, the facts are the dudes, they always marry the Tia and Tamara. That's the facts. They always, you know, and they, and, and the, it, this is real life because both ladies, Carisha and T and Tamara and I said Carisha, Tia and Tamara, they're married. They're both married. And Tamara has one body count. Her husband is was her first. So she waited a long time. She was a virgin forever. And she finally did it with her husband. So she only got one body count. And Tamara and Tia, I don't know. Um she basically said that she waited a year to kiss her kiss her husband when he was her boyfriend. She made her boyfriend, now husband, wait a year to kiss her. Now, who you know in this generation does that? Like, that's the type of girl I am. You feel me? Like, I'm more so marriage. You can have me. And I'm not doing anything with you, like, for a long time. You know, hoes just be jumping into the sack. Like, they don't care, you know? But... Like Tia, she waited a year to kiss her boyfriend and Tamara waited her whole life to have sex with her husband. That's the only dude she's ever been with, ever. And I think that's an accomplishment because in a world full of hoes, you got good women out there. So, you know, I personally, I love Tamara's outfit. Tamara's on the left. If you still can't tell them apart, I don't know what y'all been doing. Because Sister Sister, after you watch Sister Sister for a while, you you tell them apart. At first, when I first started watching them, I couldn't tell them apart. I couldn't, I couldn't tell them apart until I started to notice little things about them that was different. And I was like, okay, each, tw a twin may be a twin, but twins do have their own individual look if you pay attention. So I started to notice Tamara looks a little different than Tia. They are identical, but they have their own different looks. And I was able to tell them apart. So Tamara is on the left. Like if you're looking at your screen, she's the one in the purple and white. I love how she's dressing right now. That's how I dress. And Tia is on the right with the green. I dress like that too. And I just love how they look right now. Like right here, they look so freaking beautiful, so classy. Like this is the type of girls that dudes want to marry. These are the girls that dudes, you know, will go to war for. These are the girls that dudes pretty much be like wifey. You know, they put fat rings on them. You feel me? And they're both married in real life, like I said. So y'all tell me what y'all think. You know, do you think guys prefer good girl, good girls or like, you know, fun girls? Or do you think that guys prefer good girl coochie or ratchet coochie? <laughs> let me know. This is funny. Comment down below and let me know. Me personally, I'm a good girl and I can say... Can't no ratchet pussy outdo me, period, okay? Period. No, I don't care how much, how long you've been doing it for, how many times you spin the block, how many times you done, I don't care. It don't matter. You not, bitch, no, never. 
And my nigga not finna cheat either. I guarantee you that. Bet that. Period. So, yeah. Y'all tell me what y'all think. And comment down below. And, I mean, I'm living. I just love them. They're so classy. It's the class for me. <laughs> it's the wife. It's them being wives for me and mothers. Period. Goals. They are the real goals. Period. I love the city girls, too, because them my girls. They're from Miami. But I'm honest with myself and who I am as a woman I'm never going to change myself to fit in with nobody like the, the way I dress is the way that I dress the way I feel is the way that I feel the way that I act is the way that I act and what I believe is what I believe and you know they be like oh good girls are boring lies that's a lie I'm the funnest girl ever oh good girls you know they're not good in bed oh please please Carisha please <laughs> all right y'all y'all comment down below